Hi, this is Linda, and um, I thought that since this is being pushed around in the news, every place I seem to go has this with Obama, let's talk about abortion and Planned Parenthood, especially from a Native American. Um, <clears throat> my mother was told that she shouldn't have me, and the court said that I needed to be aborted, so she had to go to court, and one doctor came forward and said he would, you know, abort me if she was, if her life was in danger, which obviously she wasn't in danger of having me. So here I am, my mother. I was also an unintended pregnancy. My mother had no idea she was, um, she wasn't trying to have a child. I think that's the case in 90% of pregnancies and how we got here. It just happens. That's just life. And, um, I'm here because my mother stood up, although they did put her in the cold pot experiments afterwards. So they, you know, had their way, the government did one way or another. So here is some statistics, and let me show you a woman's right. Uh, or I think a man should have a say-so too, but anyway, uh, they. this is what they say. Planned Parenthood, that is. <clears throat> okay. For, um... They have sex education, and, and by the way, I was a teacher. Sex education is funded by Planned Parenthood in the schools. I think that's why the big push right now, they're probably, you know, parents are probably complaining, so we need to get more funds to Planned Parenthood so we can push more sex education in school, which is uh, was pornographic. It starts in elementary school. They give kids condoms as soon as they're in junior high school. I mean, it gets insane. Um Here's what it says about abortions, and I'll read this. Um, it says, Planned Parenthood believes that women facing unintended pregnancies uh, must have access to safe and legal abortion services without interference from the government. Wow. I, I was unintended. You probably were, too. A lot of us were. Thank goodness we're still here. Our parents were smart enough to know the morals. I mean, it's it's really a moral issue, isn't it? When does when when is, does conception start? Native Americans believe if you're pregnant, it's a blessing from the Creator. I think Christians believe something like that. But um, I'm going to leave a link here. I'm not going to go into the details. But Planned Parenthood has infiltrated um, some churches. I did read on an old Planned Parenthood site. I've been researching this all day had choppers going overhead and chemtrails and other things that were distractions. But no, nonetheless, um, so if you're a Christian, you better watch out because they're going to be pushing and saying it's okay, it's a woman's right to choose. And it doesn't matter if you're really a conservative or a liberal on this because, I mean, that's a psyop too. But let's talk about this. I want your opinion and be, be really candid with me. You know, tell me what you think. You think it's a woman's right to choose? I actually think if a man and a woman, actually, I think that if there is conception, even with rape, you, you know, I mean, that child's still going to be loved. There was a lot of rapes before Planned Parenthood came along, and the kids were loved. Um, there's also that option of adoption. And one year, I believe there was 841 adoptions and over 300,000 abortions. That's insane. I was reading statistics. Anyway, I'm going to leave some links with this. Just give me your opinion. Let's talk about this. Because personally, I think Obama, Barack, insane Obama is talking on his ass. And I really don't don't let the public schools teach your kids about sex in elementary school. You be the parent and talk to your kids about sex. And, and don't let them attend that crap. Like I said, I was a teacher. And it's pornography. It's, it's not anything else in, in elementary school your kids shouldn't even be knowing this and there is if you go i'm gonna leave a link if you go and look on planned Parent, parenthood site how teen chats and all kind of stuff and it's kind of disgusting this is really nothing to do i mean they're they're taking your kids away from you so um let's have a talk peace love no fear